go over to the bottom for the sake hashtag GAINS. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all the fucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and Alfred Fitness. Follow my band, Divided Dimension on Spotify. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny, and it does help the channel grow, so I really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. All right, got the new Alani New Fit Shakes Fruity Cereal. Damn, I just dropped that motherfucker. I almost busted. Fit, uh, Fit Snacks Alani New Munchies. And then I got vanilla. There's another flavor. I don't have it. I only got the three for four. Three out of the four. It says shake very well before trying. Um, I'm going to go over and go over the price point real quick. The price point on these bad boys are $35 for a case of 12, which is like almost $3 even when you buy a case of them. That's super fucking expensive for an RTD protein shake. Um, if you buy them individually at like GNC, they're actually like low to mid three dollar range like 320 something or 340 350 that's expensive for an rtd protein shake that's crazy expensive you can get you know a four pack for six dollars at walmart that's pretty much carrying the same amount and actually you get more protein for like the you know the rtd quest ones or the rtd um the protein ones pure protein ones those are cheap the 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 Quest ones are pretty cheap. There's the uh, Walmart brand that's pretty cheap. And you're actually getting more protein than this too. So as far as the price point, these things are fucking expensive. Let's just get that out of the way. Super expensive for an RTD protein shake in my opinion. So let's get into the label. The label time. 140 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 9 carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugar, 20 grams of protein. And we're looking at the ingredients. It's filtered water, milk protein isolate, cream sugar, milk protein concentrate, soluble corn fiber, sea salt, natural flavor, gelin, gelin gum, sucralose, lactase enzyme, lactase enzyme, acephane, potassium. It says shake well. I'm going to go ahead and shake them all up a little bit. So that's the macros. So let's go ahead and go over probably, you know, let's do the basic one first. Let's do the vanilla action. Vanilla action. By the way, I do like the label, like the design, I like the coloring scheme, but I just can't, I mean, unless these things knock my fucking socks off, there's no way I would pay fucking $9, or not $9, there's no way I would pay fucking $4 for these things, almost $4 for a protein shake. I mean, yes, I bought them just to try it out, but on a normal basis, no way, when there's, you know, the other brands to compare them to. You know, you got the pure protein, way fucking cheaper, and you get 30 grams. This is only 20 grams of protein. You get less protein, and they're way more expensive. All right, I already shook it up. I already fucked the label up. Here we go. <laughs> Vanilla action. It's a tasty water, it, watermelon. That's a tasty vanilla. Nice, sweet, nice, sweet vanilla. Super salad. I'm going to rate them after I uh, review them, or after I taste them. I'm going to rate them after I review them. What the fuck? I'm talking in, uh, I'm talking in goddamn riddles right now. Man, these, I don't like the way they peel off. It's like you fuck the label up trying to get it off. Anyways. Bust it open. Some fruity cereal action. Yay. Fruity cereal, here we go. <clears throat> nice smooth, easy to drink. A little bit of a fruity cereal taste. Not the not the greatest fruity cereal I've ever had in my life. But it's good. Super solid. Easy to drink. It's a fruity cereal. Is it the best fruity cereal? No. Is that vanilla the best vanilla? No. Is it good? Yes. Munchies. This is supposed to be like pretzel and like chocolate chip. Here we go. Munchie action. good i don't know what it tastes like you give it a little bit of like a salty pretzel taste just a little bit it's almost like a mild chocolate with like a little bit of a pretzel taste it's 
Once again, it's good. Not knocking my socks off. None of these flavors are knocking my fucking socks off. They're good. But I honestly don't think for an RTD they're worth it. There's just other alternatives that either carry more protein and the same taste or similar taste. It's not like the taste is that much different than the competitor versions, like the Pure Proteins, the Quest, and all that other shit. As far as rating, I feel like they're all the same. And they're all really good. They're just not knocking my socks off. And um, honestly, with that being said, I'm trying to dial in a, a flavor or a rating. They're all the same rating though for me. They're all really good. They're consistent. They're easy to drink. It's just the price point versus other brands. I just don't see why you would ever pick these over other brands, especially the price point and you get more protein. So as far as the ratings, all three of these bitches, I'm gonna go ahead and dial it in and I'm gonna go ahead and give that, I'm gonna go ahead and give them all three an 8.5. 5, 8.5 action, definitely above average, definitely solid. Just said, like I said, the price point's the only thing that's really turning me off from it. So that's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have tried these three flavors, let me know what the fuck you think in the comment section below. And other than that, oh man, get some burp action. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, share it, like it. All that shit will be in the description. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. And other than that, guys, I'll check you guys later. Yeah.